I want to welcome you to our new App Wizard Studio and Beacon platform. Uh, we've had a lot of requests to uh, bring a platform in with the App Wizard Studio program for those of you who want to add beacons to your toolbox. Real quick, uh, a beacon is simply a, a device that uh, emits a signal to a Bluetooth enabled phone. Uh, Android phone. It's kind of like a lighthouse. It repeatedly transmits a single signal that other devices can see instead of emitting visible light, though it broadcasts a radio signal that is made up of a combination of letters and numbers uh, that you're not going to see that, that really doesn't mean a lot, but uh, that's what happens. And they're transmitted on a regular interval of approximately one tenth of a second. A Bluetooth equipped device like a smart cup phone can see a beacon once it's engaged and you're, they're able to click on a link and open up the information that you are sending them. For example, you will tie the um, App Wizard Studio mobile apps that within the platform, uh, your business cards or your mobile apps, whatever you're building, and everything will be ran uh, as far as the beacons goes directly from the My Beacon platform. Uh, you're going to go into your system like normal. Uh, the only difference is, is when you use the link from within your uh, App Wizard Studio platform for your mobile web apps, uh, you will add a, a two tap dot mobi forward slash and the copy code that you see highlighted. And we have additional training that shows you exactly how to do this. Uh, and any app that you build, no matter what it is, a business card, a full blown app, uh, a single page, uh, a coupon can be transmitted through the beacon to be received by a Bluetooth enabled phone, Android phone on the other end. It can be received, one of the big questions that uh, we get all the time, can it be seen on an iPhone? Yes it can if you have a physical web app downloaded on the iPhone. Uh, let's take a look at the My Beacon dashboard control panel real quick. Uh, first off, you're going to have all of your analytics in the dashboard. Uh, you can go for today, yesterday, uh, you can look at uh, a full month, 90 days. Uh, you'll see the notifications here. The notifications are the not number of notifications that are actually seen on a phone. So if someone opens their notifications and that notification is there, they actually had the opportunity to see that it was shown on their phone. And of course the clicks, that's if they click on that notification and of course your click through rates. Uh, real quick, this is your places. In your places, you can add different places where the beacons will be uh, placed. Uh, just simply go in and type in the address and you'll have your uh, map set up. And this helps when you want to identify where the beacons are when you're looking at the analytics. And let's go down and take a look at the beacons. In every platform, you get your own platform uh, that's in the cloud and you can track your beacons, you can manage your beacons. You can change the URL in your beacons. Every beacon is hard coded with a, its own URL right here, as you can see. So when you go into a beacon, you can physically go in and you can set it up as a markdown card. A markdown card is simply a splash page uh, that is set up. Uh, you can set that to whatever you want to do. Uh, you can see here that you can put in your title and your description. You can also place an icon in the platform and uh, select the place that you want it to be attached to so that you can track that in your analytics. So here you can see that uh, in our markdown cards, we can come in, we can create any markdown cards we want. We can create as many markdown cards as we want. These can be changed. Markdown cards are great to be created with schedules. Uh, we'll go through schedules in just a moment, but you're able to quick create these one page splash pages with advertisements and so forth that allow you to send your message out. Also, in those markdown cards, you can attach uh, using a little bit of HTML code that is just simple to do. Just click on a button and put the information in. And with this WYSIWYG system, it builds out your markdown card. You can attach your mobile business card or you can attach your sign-up page for your texting or whatever you want to do. Once again, we have advanced training that will show you exactly how to do that. Then we have our forms over here. A form is simply a, a page that collects the data and the information. Uh, you can build as many forms as you want. For example, let's say that you want to do a survey at one of your businesses. The beacon will transmit the form out. The survey will uh, be opened up on the phones. The responses will be recorded. And then you can take those responses and you can download them in a CSV form and give them to your clients. 
Creating a form is very simple. Just go to create a form, enter the form title, add the fields that you want to uh, add, the types, or the, is it a required field, not a required field, uh, the questions and so forth. Simply click add and you can add that form with just a few clicks. Very easy to do. And now we have our schedules. Schedules are really, really cool. Uh, this allows you to set up scheduling. For example, let's say that uh, you are setting up a campaign with text messaging and you want to drive those people uh, into the stores, for the footfall into the stores. And when they get there, you want them to open up their phones and see the beacon only specials in the stores. Uh, you can actually set that up in coordination with, just come up and create a schedule. We're gonna create what's called a one-off. This schedule is gonna happen one time. It's not an all day uh, affair. It's not a weekly affair. It's gonna happen one time on a specific date in coordination with other marketing that you're gonna do. So we're gonna simply come down here to one-off and we are going to set the default rule. And then we're gonna come down and we're gonna say, okay, we want this to happen on this specific date uh, to this specific date from this specific time to this specific time. It can all happen in the same day. You set it up uh, whatever type of campaign you're gonna use, whether it's gonna be a markdown card, sending them to a coupon in the mobile app, whatever it is you're wanting to do. Obviously, you can put the notification title and the notification description right here, and also an icon to go with that. You can create as many rules as you want. So let's say, for example, that you go in and you sit down with your client and they set up uh, an entire month of marketing. And you can also go in and do the same thing when you set up that entire month of marketing with their text message. You can also do the same thing with their beacons and everything can be coordinated. Everything can be sent out at the same time on the same date and everything can happen together. Then you can set up your re weekly recurring. This is great for restaurants uh, that you can set up Monday, uh, a specific time. Then you can run it Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday if they're having a sale on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And or you can set it up for the entire week. You can set up specific times. You can add more rules. You can add lunch, dinner, and supper. Maybe a place is having a sale in the morning of one thing and they're gonna go for a, a blue light special at another time. You can set that up for specific times all during the week if you would like. And then we have our analytics page. Our analytics page is a comprehensive analytics that shows uh, your top performing beacons, your least performing beacons, all your notifications, where your notifications are coming from, uh, what they're opening up, uh, that way you know exactly what your beacons are doing. You can look at specifically today, you can look at yesterday, the last seven days, the last 30 days, and or the last 90 days. Beacon technology is an exceptional way for you to add that tool to your toolbox that creates that recurring income every single month. So you've got your texting on this side, creating recurring, now you go in and you add uh, anywhere from one to three to six beacons for your client and you just increase that recurring income and building uh, your business. What is the system? It's simply the App Wizard Studio platform, the My Beacon platform, and your selection of beacons, whichever beacons you wish to use. We have an indoor beacon that's more of a commercial grade. It's double walled, it carries 4A batteries. We have our new pocket beacon. This is a waterproof, dustproof beacon. Uh, it's about an inch and a half in diameter. Our new keychain beacon uh, runs all the time, doesn't have an on-off switch. It's constantly running, runs for about nine months on the battery. Uh, it's got comes with the lanyard and the keychain dongle. And we also have our outdoor beacon, which is waterproof, dustproof, and your more commercial grade heavy duty uh, beacon. With these simple tools, your mobile business cards, your mobile web apps, your App Wizard Studio platform, the My Beacon platform, your markdown cards and your beacons, you have a great opportunity to go out using today's technology, going to your store, setting them up with a marketing plan that's going to continue to drive footfall, increase their revenue and build their business. In order to place your uh, beacon order, you need to use coupon code AWS50 when you click on this link. Simply order now, use your coupon code for your 50% AWS special pricing. Click here to order. Your coupon code once again is AWS50. This is located in the top of your platform. 
uh, when you log in, you'll see this right up here at the top, right above Create the New App. We look forward to you coming in and utilizing this technology. If you have any questions or anything, please do not hesitate to ask. These two platforms combined bring a very powerful tool into your toolbox that allows you to increase your recurring income and bring value to your clients. Thanks, and we look forward to talking to you about the new Beacon technology that's been added to the AppWizard Studio platform.